What the hell's going on, y'all? Holy shit here. In this video, we're going to try to pronounce this name. And I can't tell if that's two L's. But I'm going to pretend there's two L's and call them L. Marinin. Yeah, L. Marinin it is. Let's see what this dude's about. He's a fighter class. Limit broken, not fully leveled at level 81. So his stats will go up a smidge. Forged in fire. Slow mana speed. Boo. Reduces the mana of all ice enemies by 40%. Reduces the mana of all other enemies by 20%. All enemies share received damage with each other for four turns. This status effect is undispellable and lasts two turns longer on ice heroes. All enemies get negative 56% defense for four turns against ice characters this status effect becomes uncleansable and lasts two turns longer all right so we got some mono reduction don't bring ice you know that's what i'm gonna do though Passive. When this character starts a turn with low health for the first time during a battle, they recover 15% health and receive 15% mana charge. Nice. Galvala family. Receive negative 10, negative 20, negative 40% less damage from the special skills of the stronger element. So yeah, just don't bring ice. Could you use them as a tank? Maybe. Let's find out. So this is survivability. Hey, yeah, you don't have enough. You don't have enough attack power here. You gonna put me to sleep several times? No, let's find out. Uh, they didn't want you to win anyway, because they started me off with this purple diamond. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That is not enough. To set log off. Not enough yet. There's one more tile. Is that enough? Seven tiles? Let's find out if that's enough. Just enough. Nine seventy. I gotta be careful I don't kill him. He's got some protection from Papyrus. Is Log actually really asleep? Because he's in taunt mode. He still gets 84 defense. That doesn't really even do anything. Awakens. Log is awake and protected. But he has negative 34 defense because the Sarnia. Let's try to get rid of her. Let's get that defense down. Tao Chan's about to heal. That's alright. You can heal Dao Chan. You can heal if you want. Just gonna give myself a little defense. Dao Chan's about to heal, which is fine. I'll do this. <clears throat>
passive was quite a bit. That was 292 heal there. Because he went down to low health, and then he got a mana boost. Alright, I have to set him off again, because... I had Onyx. Make him immune for a while. He did reduce Lug's mana. But I need to see him reduce everybody's mana. Get rid of Papyrus. Uh, let me just get rid of him. All right, so Dao Chan, you can go ahead and heal now. I want her to heal, and then Elmerinen can set off Balbar, maybe, if I don't, 525, if I don't, if I don't kill him, yeah, she needs to, let's do this, go ahead and heal, Trying to set off this dude. He's just too slow. Too slow. Come on. That was too close for comfort. Oh my word. Are you kidding me? That was alright. Damn it. Let's do this one more time. Because I didn't fully see what I wanted to see. I was... You know, I hate it when I'm that close to get exactly what I want. And then that just... The one little minion just made the difference. choices here. Let's do this. Then we'll do this. And then I got, oh, he's got the negative monogen. think of this dude see I like that reducing monogen but at slow speed it just might not work because then you can counter it a little too easily let's get this diamond we need some healing she got that that negative mana generation that's where the sorcerers always pull that off. Alright, let's... Nope. Wait a second. Oh, that's right. 
Dao Chan's got that. Where is it? Come on, Dao Chan. So summons a lackey minion for the caster and with some each time a lackey minion. It steals a random dispellable buff from an enemy to give it to so that's that's awesome. That is really awesome. So he's actually gonna do his job now. He's gonna do his job now, and I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that yet, because he'll win. Now, will one tile set him off? Because I need to heal. Haha. -ha. Haha. -ha. Let's get this heal that up. And let's use Dao Chan's ability against him. Now, I got to see him reduce Alesi's mana. Um, yeah, because I want to see, and then I'll lose. I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to do that yet. Don't worry, we're setting them off. All right, so I reduced everybody's monogen. Let's just go crazy. Uh, we need... Getting kind of close to damn. I'm afraid to kill him. Ah, uh, see, I like that. Low health, heal, and then 15% mana charge. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so, I mean, I brought the worst potential element to bring against him. That being at slow mana speed, I think he's... With this setup, he's just a little too easily controlled... has potential but he needs to be at average mana speed so although he's got a lot of cool perks with that passive and the heal and all that not 100 percent sold on him so defensively he's kind of niche against ice does affect everybody he's a little too slow doesn't really do any direct damage i mean he puts negative 50 six percent defense which is awesome but he needs to do some sort of attack he definitely needs to do some sort of attack so defensively at slow amount of speed, he's fairly tanky. Good chance he might not go off. Uh, I, I'll give him between 
a B and a B plus. He, he gets a little rating because he doesn't do any direct damage. And he does have that fighter ability though. That could be annoying. Give Dao Chan enough time to heal. But yeah. Offensively, B plus. I just give him a B plus because yeah, you can control the tempo a little bit. You get him to go off. That that passive really makes a big difference. And that negative fifty six defense is huge on all enemies. You can definitely use that to win that match. So there it is. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Please subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you later.